part that we had made for an artificial heart. And this is actually the piece which mm -hmm. is just a real small idea inside of there. That was really just for the mm -hmm. Hello, this is Scott Middle, Vice President of Sales at Intico Incorporated. I'm Gary Leatherman, Sales Engineer here at Intico. We're talking about a variety of parts that we've done, and you can see the breadth of what we've done on this table. One of the products which we have manufactured pretty consistently over the years has been sapphire wafer carriers. There's a lot of confusion with regards to what a wafer carrier is. This is actually a wafer boat, not a carrier. And the wafer carriers that we manufacture are typically tight tolerance discs with very good total thickness variation. This part is used as a carrier to do the backside thinning of compound semiconducting wafers. We can make them without holes, or Gary has one with holes, and he can explain what the holes are used for. So this six inch sapphire wafer carrier has approximately 2,000 holes that are 30 thousandths in diameter. The reason for the holes are primarily for demounting purposes during the wafer processing cycle. The demounting uh, process is more or less um, something that can be difficult if you don't have holes and adding the holes makes it much easier. Some of the other advantages associated with sapphire is it's chemically impervious. It also has a very good coefficient of thermal expansion match to gallium arsenide as an example, which aids in a reduced stress to the end used, the end used part, which is again gallium arsenide or indium phosphide or other compound semiconducting materials. The next time you have a sapphire wafer carrier need, feel free to reach out to Scott Middle or myself, Gary Leatherman, or you can go to www.insico.com.